A couple of months ago, I published a video on this channel titled Signs You Are Not Ready For Leadership. That video was really popular with the subscribers of this channel and I wanted to do a follow-up video with a flip side to the topic. I wanna to focus on signs that you are ready for leadership so you can understand when you should put your hand up for a leadership position. Because one of the things I found as a leadership coach is that you wait too long to put your hand up for a leadership promotion. You wait until you're 100% ready for that job or in some cases, 110% ready for the job. While you're waiting for it to be the right time to put your hand up for that promotion, your bolder colleagues, your more confident colleagues are putting their hand up ahead of you and they're getting those promotions instead of you. It's not that they're more intelligent or more experienced than you or more competent than you. In most of the cases, they're not. The only reason they get those jobs, those leadership promotions ahead of you is because they are quicker than you. They put their hand up sooner than you do. They don't let self-doubt or negative self-talk or the imposter syndrome stop them from going for those promotions or going for those roles. So this video is all about when you should put your hand up for a promotion. When should you say, yes, I am ready for that leadership position. I'm gonna share five signs and the very first one is you want to support and manage other people. This is first and foremost the most important sign that you are ready for leadership. A lot of people put their hand up for leadership positions for the wrong reasons. They want more recognition. They want more money. They wanna be more senior in the company. It's fine to want those things and they are somewhat important when you do go for leadership promotions and when you advance in your career. But if you are putting your hand up for a leadership position solely for those reasons, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You have the wrong things driving you for that leadership promotion. Leadership is primarily about nurturing, supporting and guiding people. This needs to be something that you want to do. This needs to be something that drives you internally toward those leadership positions. Because if it's not, if you don't have the desire to help people, if you don't have the desire to support or to nurture people or to guide people and help them grow their career, you will fail as a leader. And if failing as a leader is something you really want to avoid, then you definitely need to subscribe to my channel. Every week I share videos on leadership to help you advance in your leadership journey and I would be honored to share those videos with you. Another sign you can look for is whether people seek your advice or not. If your peers at work come to you for advice, for your ideas, for your opinions, then that means they value you. They value your ideas and they value your opinions as well. And they probably value them because you have helpful, intelligent and unique insights to share. This is primarily why leaders are hired for their creative thinking ability, for their problem solving ability. So if you have this ability, whether it's natural, whether it's something you have learned through courses or through books, then you have what it takes to be a leader you are ready for leadership. Another sign you can look for is whether you are a relationship builder. If you're somebody who is keen to develop and start relationships with people inside your team, outside your team, other departments in your company, or even outside of your company, then you have what it takes to be a leader. You see, a large part of leadership involves building relationships with people, relationships with stakeholders, with your team members, with other leaders inside your company. This relationship building requires you to have a high level of social skill and people skill. So if you have these skills, then you have what it takes to to be a great leader and I would say you are ready for leadership. And if you want a say in the bigger picture, then you are definitely ready for leadership. This means you want to be involved in big decisions, important decisions and high level decisions for the direction of your company. People who are not leaders, they're happy being stuck in the day-to-day -day task, in the smaller tasks. This is what they like to do, but not leaders. Leaders want to make an impact and they know they can make an impact with their decisions and by being involved in those big decisions. And they know the only way to do this is to be involved in the bigger picture. If that's a sign you can relate to, then you are ready for leadership. And if you are well-respected by your peers, then that's another sign you are ready for leadership. 
They like you. They trust you as a professional. This is really important as you advance in your career and advance into leadership. This is something that cannot be overlooked. As a leader, you need people to like you and to trust you. You need them to see you as a competent, intelligent and reliable professional. Because without that, people won't follow you. Why would people follow you if they don't think you're competent, if they don't think you're intelligent, if they don't trust you, or if they don't like you? Why on earth would they follow you? So do some introspection. Work out whether you are respected by your peers, whether you're respected by your team. This will help you to understand and identify whether you are ready for leadership or not. Whether you have the presence of a leader. And if this is something that you want more training in, building the presence of a leader, then you need to watch this video right here.